Hey folks, how we doing? So, as you see, did some Kydex work today and uh, some other work beside that. This one you've seen before, did the Kydex for the Wormcliff. Came out pretty sweet. Went with the blue. I think the blue goes pretty well with the orange. Just nice, nice retention, works well. This one actually, this one is one of my favorites. Really like this drop on the rap Raptor. And on this one I went with the grey Kydex and just overspray, kind of like dirty looking overspray with the black spray, the black paint. I like how it came out, it's pretty neat. They know what to do with this, I don't have orange Kydex, so I, f I figured this one might work well. Good package again, super good retention. <laughs> Shade flies out when you when you press with the thumb ramp. Did the digital camo for the Tanto. It's funny because I, <laughs> I never like Tantos, but I do like this blade. I just like how it came out. Really like how it came out. Again, same thing. Good solid retention, very easy removal with the thumb ramp. And there's a new one today. Interesting concept. Again, you see how much uh, versatility I have in the design. All different, all different things what I can do, and you're gonna see some some crazy stuff even more from the same exact blank, you know. All of them are from the same exact knife. This this blank, this T-Rex. Uh, the handle was designed differently just because when I did it, we never bought it, fixed the cut. It's it never been like this. I don't like this handle, it's not good, it's just too much of a bulk here. So that's that's always regrounded. Handle is pretty much always the same. I like my handle. Just the I have so much I can do with the blade shape, which I like. So here's the here's this one, uh, black and blue G10 with uh, ruby red liners, very comfortable handle. Again, kind of came up with this. You see the again drop point, but raised the belly, kind of like a hunter design blade, more more of a belly and straight edge, straight edge on the bottom, and more of a belly towards the tip. Nice and robust. This is little thicker grind what I normally do, it's still very good performer, it slices like nothing into the wood. There's some 2x4 here, some 2x3, some pine. So you still have very good cutting performance on that. But it's nice and it's decent, it's a strong edge, it's not like super super high performance like I did before the thin grinds. It's just nice balance of good, good strength and cutting capability left the nice flats on top some people ask before I just didn't want to reply the same thing over and over what's that forged finish that forged finish is actually when the steel is uh, I'm not sure which one is cold rolled which one is hot rolled but it's rolled through the rollers no? when they make the steel when they make that the sheet of metal and uh, those rollers that's what they leave you know it's kind of like a crater pattern, kind of like that forge pattern. And when you buff it up a little bit, you know, this, I think it's sandblasted. When you buff this up on a, like a scotch bright, fine scotch bright, that's what you end up with. That, that nice forge look finish, which is really cool. You often can see this finish on a Kylie's knife, CKC knives. And it's a really nice combination of the of a tool look and uh, I like it it's it's really I I like the look I like this and also the horizontal uh, you know kind of like a hand drop finish both of them are my favorites this obviously is a little less work not by much but a little bit but it it has that it has that cool look to it and uh, this one came out pretty sweet you can see actually on a lot of these later designs this handle I kind of like this because what it does, it's super comfortable, you know, the overall shape is same, but the uh, sculpting of the handle is kind of neat because what you have is you have that first finger shawl, then you have this groove here that accommodates the middle two fingers, and then you have the swoop on the end, which ends in that bulb on, uh, you know, towards the end to secure the, the butt of the knife for the pinky. So you have, you have index finger in here, two fingers in this groove, kind of groove, and the last uh, middle thing, uh, pinky comes to the last one. And on top, here you have the swoop that fits your this portion of the hand, and then you have this groove here that 
accommodates this portion so you have that kind of like a lot of people refer like hourglass in the middle that's here that's for your portion of the hand here where it's uh, kind of emptier so that nicely fills up the middle of the hand and then the swoops on your hand on the corners here and here they fit nicely into this and this kind of like a groove so very comfortable handle in all positions again it's nice that this one is very very comfortable even in the reverse you know chest lever grip and uh, also reverse grip not that I ever use knife like that but it's it's very comfortable I like it and it also gives you that really cool look to it when you have a layered material you you see a lot of going on you know it's not just regular simple contouring it has those waves and cool look to it so kind of combination of comfort comfort and uh, and looks which is always nice to combine again just nice kind of high polish satin finish or you know buffed up satin finish very very uniform satin finish I like it pretty cool little kind of like a drop drop point hunter and again it's still the same knife same handle it just got a little shorter to achieve that more of a belly up front and got rid of little belly here because my original blade has continuous curve the, the whole belly is one continuous curve so I'm pretty sure some people will like this because this is more like a hunter knife that's also why I went with the more darker colors uh, I wish I had something like a you know like brown black or stuff like that but wanted to do the G10 and again this still has to be sandblasted, be, be blasted, that's what I want to do with all of this because it, it really gives really cool look to it and a really good grip and uh, blue kydex with, with black overspray, it's kinda hard to see it has that little black overspray on it I thought it was a little nice touch since this is black and blue so the kydex is also a little black and blue and again good retention, easy removal nice little package so hope you, hope you like it guys, let me know what you think there is a lot more coming up actually I've been busy today I'll show you in the next video thanks for watching guys, take care, stay safe and remember don't cut yourself